Good evening. Thank you for joining us. A Winnipeg dog labeled as exceptionally dangerous is set to be put down. The dog attacked a young girl and a senior in two separate incidents, leaving both with severe injuries. But the decision caused a disturbance at City Hall, which is where CTV's Jeff Keel is tonight. Yeah, Jeff, can you explain what happened? Definitely emotions running high here at City Hall today. The dog's owner in tears begging committee members to give his dog one last chance. But when the appeal was denied, he swore at a city councillor and stormed out of the building behind me. I walked up the steps and talked to her through the door. A knock on this back door in Transcona sent Jim Robson to the hospital. He grabbed me and uh, medical information later supported was crushed and it was bleeding profusely. In April, the retired Winnipeg police officer says he went across the street to see his neighbour about selling a lawnmower. Leary of the German boxer who lived there, Robson says he wouldn't go inside. But while walking away, he says the dog, called Boss, got out and attacked him. These pictures show the aftermath to his hand and inner thigh. Robson required medical attention for the injuries and an infection. But she puffed up, oh, two inches, I guess, in here. And that was there for a long time. And they said to me, had it hit the artery there, you would have died. This isn't the first incident involving Boss. In 2015, a young girl was left with lacerations on her face after she was mauled by the dog. And because of the most recent attack, the city's animal services branch deemed the dog exceptionally dangerous, ordering the boxer be euthanized. In our opinion, um, there, there is a risk here. But Boss's owner appealed the order, pleading with the committee of councillors to give the dog a second chance. An emotional Derek Forsyth says Boss was provoked by his neighbour and says the dog has helped him with his mental health struggles. Because of this incident, I have tried committing suicide uh, by way of overdose. I was in the hospital. In the end, the committee denied Forsyth's appeal. The dog will be put down. We can't run the risk that the dog will potentially hurt somebody else. Forsyth then stormed out of the meeting and swore at Councillor Russ Wyatt. City Hall security prevented him from returning. Jim Robson says the outburst prompted him to file a police report. But obviously I've taken his best friend away from him, or it's been mostly on my shoulders, so he's going to blame me. Despite the fact the dog is considered dangerous, Animal Services says the decision to end his life is heart-wrenching. Officials allowed Forsyth to see Boss one last time. I'm sure Boss is thinking he was going to be getting let out, and uh, was going to be coming home with his dad. Now, from a city standpoint, Forsyth has no recourse now. This was his final appeal, but it's unclear if Forsyth can or will attempt to take this matter to court. Jeff, do we know then when the dog will be euthanized? We asked the city that question and we didn't get a firm response. The city did say that Animal Services has to bring in a vet to perform the procedure. We just don't know when that will be. All right, thanks for this, Jeff.